Good morning, you RV crazies. It's the Sharon family, and we're day two here in San Diego, California. I'm gonna do a quick supply run to one of the local RV supply places, and then we're off to the San Diego Zoo today. So come along for the ride. All right, so we have arrived at the San Diego Zoo. Okay, Lori and I have both been here before. Sean has not, so we're leaving the touring up to him. Clearly, I'm the most qualified for that. <laughs> Clearly. Well, you have the map. We didn't memorize everything. We know what we want to see. I'm looking for a duck-billed platypus. Sean has been here literally five minutes and already lost his ticket. <laughs> we are number two. Are right, you guys facing forward or backwards? Which way are you guys facing? Well, we're going forward, of course. Oh, too much weight on this side. Thank you. You too. Too much weight on that side. We thought we'd start the day off with a bird's eye view of the San Diego Zoo, and as you can see, we are on the aerial tram doing a sky fari. Very cool way to see the zoo. We're on. Coming in for a landing. Here. Not as white as they make it out to be in cartoons. We just checked out the pandas. Now we're on a moving escalator and we're heading up to the gorilla enclosure. Should be cool. Look, here's some of the primates now. Do that gorilla noise again. Come on, do the gorilla noise. You're camera shy, my ass. Come on. We've stopped at the Treetop Cafe to have lunch. We're right underneath the Sky Fari. The primate display. He looks just like Sean. Where'd Sean go? It's bus tour time. Q-L-L-I-N-G. They do that quite a bit. They spin up their time sunning on the bank. But they're, they're, they're born in the water, nurse in the water. The bus tour is over. It was pretty cool. We were in the wrong side of the bus. We were on the wrong side of the bus. It happens. How cool is this little guy? I don't know how old it is, but it can't be very old. It's very cool. Okay, Sean, can you fill us in on the age of the, the little guy? No, I can't. No, the little guy over there is about two months old. It'll be two months Saturday. Okay, so just imagine you're driving to work and then you have to run into one of these. That would totally change your commute, wouldn't it? Glad we don't live uh, 12,000 years ago and have to worry about those things. Our day at the San Diego Zoo is over, and now we're heading off to Old Town San Diego, where we're going to grab some most delicious Mexican food. Really looking forward to that. Never been to Old Town? Pretty badass, I like it. Yeah. 
we have arrived in Old Town and Old Town San Diego is really kind of one of our favorite hangouts here in San Diego. It's very cool. A bunch of little shops and restaurants, a lot of Mexican restaurants obviously, and it's, I believe it's a representation of the way Old Town San Diego actually was. And I believe this might have been the start of San Diego where, where, where we are right now is actually where San Diego started before it moved to where the current downtown is, where the gas lamp district and all that is. So really cool history here and some great restaurants and just a really cool casual feel. So if you get to San Diego, you should check out Old Town San Diego. Get your facts straight, Sharon, before you start telling no, me a like goddamn I said, story. I'm not saying this is what it is. We are at the Casa de Reyes restaurant here in Old Town San Diego, and this place is just hopping right now. Great vibe, just a really good atmosphere. Hopefully, you can see around me. Live music, great Mexican food, and just a just a phenomenal atmosphere. So we, we love this place. So Casa de Reyes in Old Town San Diego. It still sounds white the way you said. All right, we are back from the San Diego Zoo, back from Old Town, and we are ready to jump into the RV and call it a night. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.